Welcome to A Cozy Guide to Rain Dog. I wanted to start this series off with Player First Games' original character, Rain Dog, because it's the first original character in the game, so I think one of the most well-designed fighting game characters that I've ever seen in a game such as this. Also, because he's my best friend, he's my pal, he's my homeboy, my rotten soldier, he's my sweet cheese, my good time boy. The goal of this guide is to give you a basic understanding of Raindog's kit, an understanding of how Raindog's special abilities affect gameplay, a simple combo to get you started, some KO methods so you can win, and I hope this tutorial is just relaxing and I hope you get a good laugh from the montage at the end. I had a lot of fun making it. Neutral attacks. The part of Raindog's kit the three people who play Raindog usually ignore. Raindog's jab combo is a fast three hit strike combo that is really great for disrupting opponents and generally dealing damage. The second hit of the combo has a chance sometimes to drop the enemies, but I think this will be fixed in the hitbox update, so I'm not too concerned about it right now. Rain Dog's down tilt is a tail strike that after a small delay deals a wide arc of damage that breaks armor. Rain Dog can cancel their jabs and start this move mid combo. Rain Dog's up tilt is a bunny hop that moves diagonally and the longer it's charged, the higher up it goes. This move is great for disrupting enemies that are landing from above or those that are trying to recover from off stage. This move also chains quite nicely into the up tilt in the air. Rain Dog's neutral attack, the orb, is the orb. Rain Dog fires a large orb that moves in an arc downwards. The longer it's charged, the more damage it deals and the farther it goes. Grounded and aerial version of this neutral are the same. Rain Dog's aerial forward tilt is a roll forward after a short delay. This move doesn't have very much end lag, so it's a great combo starter. Rain Dog's aerial up tilt is a bite that deals damage in the middle of the animation and at the very end. Rain Dog's aerial down tilt is a tail strike that knocks enemies downwards. This can spike enemies and bounce them off the stage into combos. Special attacks. I'm going to teach you a basic combo so you can see the passive effects of some of the specials beyond the initial hit. The combo is a short hop, aerial forward air, and then forward tilt three times on the ground. It's really simple and can be added to and changed as you need. Rain Dog's neutral special is Love Leash, creating a tether between them and their ally. This move was gone over in the basic tutorial, however not many people utilize that the tether deals passive damage over time. Rain Dog's grounded up special creates a crystal above Rain Dog. The longer this is charged, the higher the crystal is. The crystal deals damage over time by firing pulses at the ground that deal electricity damage. The crystal moves very slowly towards the ground. There we go. The crystal can be destroyed by any hit by enemies. However, if Rain Dog is struck by the lightning that comes from the crystal, Rain Dog's hands will glow with electricity. If the crystal reaches the ground, it'll slide around, still dealing the same pulses, but then it's much easier to destroy. That little guy, slowly moving around just to get to the ground to rest. I guess the crystal still in frame, huh? Using the combo from earlier, when Rain Dog is struck by lightning, the same combo that was 20% damage now deals 23. It's not much, but there wasn't much work extra done to do that. Rain Dog's down special is a fireball that when used from the ground can be charged and it moves at a slow arc downwards. When used in the air, it'll fire directly towards the ground. This move holds four charges that charge relatively quickly. Once a fireball hits the ground, it'll leave a fire area that deals damage over time to enemies and will ignite any projectiles that pass through it, including Rain Dog's orb. However, only one fire area can be active at a time. Don't recommend starting the fireball from the ground, as it leaves you quite vulnerable and the extra charge damage isn't worth it. If we start our combo with a fireball, it adds a whopping 12% damage, leaving the total to 32%. Rain Dog's grounded forward special is a lunge forward after a brief delay. This move breaks armor, and while it does have a decent knockback, I wouldn't recommend using it very often as it's pretty easily punishable. However, Rain Dog's aerial forward special is great for recovery, has good knockback, and it starts pretty quickly with a generous hitbox. Additionally, starting from the air and going to the ground is a great way to start the jab combo with a little bit of a mix-up. Rain Dog's aerial up special is Rain Dog rolls into a ball, getting lots of vertical mobility in the air. However, Rain Dog doesn't do damage with his ability unless an ally picks you up and throws you as an object. Finally, a good fastball special. Let's put it all together so we can start winning. First thing I'd recommend is get comfortable with Rain Dog's neutral attacks as they are really quite strong, such as starting your combos with an aerial down tilt, an aerial forward tilt, or ending your combos on a grounded down tilt. Once you get more comfortable with Rain Dog's neutral attacks and how they feel, practice the short hop into forward air into the forward three tilts combo, as it's a reliable 20% damage, and then you can practice the other mix-ups later, such as the grounded down tilt after the first two jabs. Even if you whiff some of the combo, it's still a decent chunk of damage. Once you get the hang of Rain Dog's neutrals, the combos, and then how to mix up those combos, then you can add things before and after the combos to make them really shine such as firing a neutral before, or firing a fireball, then shooting a neutral through that fireball so there's tick damage going and extra damage while you're doing the combo. I whiffed the combo a few times while practicing, but once you get that full 30%, it leaves the enemy pretty vulnerable above the blast zone for an aerial down tilt, so you can start your edge guard game.
I'd recommend practicing getting your grounded up special and down special out quickly so that you can have your utility out while you go in with your neutral combos. The main mistake I see from most rain dog players is an overuse of their projectiles without utilizing the amazing neutral attacks that rain dog has in their kit already. It becomes an awkward game of cat and mouse where it's just projectile spam without getting any KOs and there's already a cat and mouse that's kind of better at that. Another combo I like is aerial down tilt into aerial up tilt. However, the aerial up tilt hitbox is kind of finicky, so hopefully the next hitbox fix will address that. It's been fixed once already, but you understand what I mean. Now how do we get to the part where you can teabag? Wait, you wouldn't actually do that, right? KO confirms, because the only support they're getting is therapy after the match. A great KO option is aerial forward special into aerial down tilt. This will knock the opponent right into the blast zone, and it usually keeps Rain Dog quite safe. Sometimes an opponent isn't far enough, they'll end up recovering or just bouncing off the stage. A way to amend this is adding a neutral beforehand, and then it'll launch them a little further. However, the dunk is a little unsafe and could leave you to get punished, but it's usually quite satisfying. If you don't feel like you'll quite make the aerial down tilt, using a second aerial forward special will keep your opponent quite vulnerable. The utility move ends up messing up one of your KO confirms. Utilizing your down air or forward special will usually get someone close to the blast zone, so you can just keep edge guarding. For neutral attack, the orb has a hitbox that knocks enemies downwards, so that's a great safe way you can stay on stage and keep opponents from recovering. You can also be aimed to mix up enemies, so if they go low, you can aim it low, or high, you can aim it high. Huh? Rain Dog struggles at getting enemies out of the top of the blast zone. Rain Dog can use their aerial down tilt into aerial up tilt, however that doesn't often KO. Fully charged grounded up tilt into an aerial up tilt can KO, but the odds of hitting the first hit are kind of low and it's a little predictable. Perks and suggested builds. Things to think about before even getting in a match. So many perks in multiverses, it can be a little overwhelming to choose, and I bought all of the perks I could with the Rain Dog for gold, which actually ended up helping me. At first it was confusing, but then I realized if I'm going into random duos games, I can just pick my allies perks and it'll keep them for the next round we play together. When it comes to personal preference when I'm playing, I prefer Crystal Pal over Fire Fluff, and I'll go over each of them more in depth after. Then if I'm going to pick from the red perks, Ice to Beat You, Lumpy Space Punch, and Collateral Damage are the ones I prefer. But I usually don't pick from the red perks unless my ally has. Rather, the defensive perks Kryptonian Skin and Back to Back are fantastic for duos, as it's an 18% damage reduction as long as I'm near my ally, and with Love Leash, that's usually the case. Then for Mobility, Tasmanian Trigonometry and Aerial Acrobat are both fantastic picks. School Me Once is also a lovely sub-in perk, if you're going against someone who's using a lot of those pesky projectiles. All in all, I personally prefer to choose my allies' perks to make sure that their kit truly shines, and so that they can get the most support they can in and out of game. But if I'm playing in solos, I don't really have that option, so choosing defensive options and mobility options is what I find the best play. Rain Dog's two signature perks are Crystal Pal and Firefly. We'll first go over Crystal Pal. Crystal Pal causes your grounded up special, the crystal, to slowly follow you around the map. Now it is quite slow that it does follow you, however the area it strikes is quite large and it deals a decent amount of damage, and even if it doesn't hit an opponent, those large AoE strikes will still empower your neutral attacks, and this complements my playstyle quite nicely, but it's not for everyone. While having a stationary crystal may be easier for zoning one area in particular, I find more often than not, without this perk, my crystal dies immediately as it just stays stationary and someone hits it. However, even this little bit of mobility makes it easier to defend and easy to integrate into my own attacks. On the other hand, Rain Dog's other signature perk is Fire Fluff. Fire Fluff leaves a larger fireball at the end of Rain Dog's down special whether from the ground or from the air. This perk is great as it'll ignite enemies who walk through it, and with a larger area, it's larger damage over time potential, and it'll ignite more projectiles with the higher hitbox it has. However, my personal preference, I feel like the regular fireball is more than effective for what it does for igniting projectiles and lighting enemies on fire. The larger area doesn't really end up doing any more damage, and the damage over time is consistent between the two. However, that boils down to personal preference. When I play Rain Dog, I like to play Rain Dog as a bit of a bear. The kind of bear that looks at you and says, only you can prevent forest fires. Things to practice, takeaways, and closing thoughts. Practicing your startup of an orb, crystal, fireball, and then an orb is a great way of keeping people away from you and getting all of your utility items right out the gate. Then working on your movement, such as short hopping and your forward air, even integrating dodging and dodge jumping to see how much you can really get out of Rain Dog's awesome mobility. Of course, practicing those combos and their mix-ups. As while Rain Dog may not have many combos, those ones are pretty handy. 
Rain Dog is my favorite character in multiverses, and that's why I'm really excited to be starting this series out with a character that is so near and dear to my heart. Player First Games really knocked it out of the park when designing this character. I made a little montage of how I personally play Rain Dog, as I play Rain Dog in a non toxic fashion, <laughs> and I'm absolutely a positive player, I swear. Let's begin. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Oh no! Do it again. Michael! Don't leave me here! <laughs> My house! You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Your delicious bass. No, God. 
That's what I love. Nestle Crunch. That's when I do. What have I done? Meow. I'll show you what real evil is. Too easy. Piece of cake. You're too slow. Get a load of this! I told you! I'm not a rat! I'm a hedgehog! I can't believe this! Hey, I'll play with you some other time! I fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. Why won't you die? Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Remember me, Eddie? I'm known to be quite vexed. Stop. I'm joking! Stop! 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 Curse, and yet a curse I need to live. I want to take a pic. I can't believe you've done this. Help me! Get over here! Leave me alone! On this I will stand, I will win, or I will die. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Stay down. Another one. Another one. Bing. Another one.
Another one. Another I'm one. I've fallen and I can't get up. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another oh, one. Brother, this guy stinks. Huh? It's a big deal. <laughs> Let's try all that again. This time with less being bad at the video game. Well, off to visit your mother! Final round, fight! Was that the bite of 87? Okay. What is going on with my mouth? Do it! No! Make God, your dreams please, no, are true! No. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really. Thanks for watching Jakey's stuff. He probably almost cried. And if you had some fun, he'd love if you subscribed. Or maybe drop a like, but he won't be blue if you can't because it's all for you. Who's next?